Hello there, I'm Dot Strange here. Um, I realize I did a couple videos where I showed you how to make the morphs and how to use the morphs, but I only did like a text tutorial or something on how to actually bring them in and apply them. So um, let's do that. So here's a head um, in Cinema 4D, right? And what I usually do, just because it, it provides you the best results, or it provides me the best results, is that I'll always go and make sure the axis is centered and then zero at the, zero out the the head especially in the rotation to make sure like this isn't zeroed out I have a little script that actually zeroes it out um, just make sure it's in the rotation is most important I don't know if the actual position matters but it's good practice so here we just have our head and then we want to export it as a OBJ now let's just call this head and that's fine then you want to go into ZBrush and go import go to our desktop import this head make it editable and the important thing is is that we want to create a morph for this you know so we want the points to stay exactly the same so you don't want to subdivide it you want to keep it the same number of points so all you're going to do is manipulate this so I made another video where I showed multiple but I'll just show one so come in here and then if you want to mask something out like I'm always um masking the nose and part of the chin out because I don't want my morph to to affect that so what I do is just go mask it out like here and then some of the chin which I'm just holding down control to do that and then control click to feather it a little bit so it gets softer and then now you can make a layer and like I like the move topological brush to do this and so let's make a real quick morph for this guy oops I forgot to press X to turn on symmetry so we have this and this and I'm not using my Wacom right now so I have to use this thing. So let's make that a real quick weird little morph, right? So let's just call this morph 1. So now we have this morph and then we want to export the OBJ back to Cinema 4D. I turned those off and then let's export it and let's call this one head underscore 1 and then we can go back to Cinema 4D and go merge and then let's bring in that head one. So something that happens sometimes is that uh, it may change the the anchor point or the axis. Why did I write point? Head morph. Head the morph. Sure. So I always go and just make sure to recenter it because sometimes weird stuff happens. We can go make this one invisible and I'll show you two ways to do it. So I use Cactus Dan's tools but I know most of you probably don't or you should because I think they're the best character tools for Cinema 4D but anyway you want to go add a morph and then all you do is drag in this head and then say yes. So now if you go to animate um, let's uncheck that, go to the morph tag. So now you have your morph. So that's all you have to do to use the built in tools. And if you want to use Cactus Dan's tools, you go, you would need his morph tools. And then you just click on your source head and then the one you want for a morph. And then you go object to morph tag and the same thing happens. Now you have this morph tag and there it is. So repeat this as many times as you want and make all your morphs so hopefully this is helpful to somebody out there um but yeah like i showed in one of the other or maybe i should make a video where i actually rigged a jaw because in the past i used to try to make morphs to open and close the mouth but that just looks terrible so now i usually use a a simple jaw rig to open and close the mouth and then i do morphs for my facial expressions so if you'd like to see that process like rigging the jaw because i'm doing it like 40 times in a row let me know, but until next time, M.String saying the bye.